Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com um, So, there is actually, um, for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2, there's actually a hidden T-Mobile modem in here. It does have a T-Modem modem. T-Modem modem. Um, so if you want to uh, enable your AT&T Galaxy Note 2, uh, and I know there's shortage of uh, a lot of the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2s, um, it is really hard to get one, and also T-Mobiles, they won't sell it without contract. So. Um, you can go ahead and grab an AT&T Galaxy Note 2, which is much easier to grab, and uh, use this hack to enable T-Mobile 3G, 4G. Now, you'll have to first have your phone unlocked. Um, now, again, uh, unlocking your phone has been illegal since, like, last week or something. Um, so, you can still unlock it. You just have to call AT&T and get permission or something like that. So, go ahead, whatever, you know, however you got to do it, um, go ahead and unlock your phone first. And then um, legal, legally, <laughs> the way you you can do it. And then what you want to do uh, is basically um, do this. So let's go ahead and enable it. I've got AT&T chip in here, uh, and uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let me turn the brightness up. And uh, you will want to dial on your phone. Um, go ahead and oops. Go ahead and dial uh, star pound. 7284 uh, pound like that alright and once you get to this screen uh, what you want to do is uh, go to uh, Qualcomm USB settings there and then you'll want to choose um, this this one here R RN this DM plus modem alright and then plug it to your computer alright and let's go to our computer all right. Next, you'll have to go ahead and download QPST 2.7 build 3.3.zip. Uh, 3 3 Unzip it. Um, you'll get a setup folder. This is QPST QPST software that allows you to hack um, stuff. So go ahead and install it. And uh, it's actually installing on my other screen. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And uh, sorry, I'll be back when this installs. All right. Next, what you want to do is um, you'll want to open up your uh, go ahead and open up a your uh, control panel. Go to hardware and sound, device manager, and under device manager, uh, under ports, you should have something like Samsung USB uh, serial port. And make a note of your COM number. Mine is 27. It is different for everybody. So I'm gonna note COM 27. And uh, if you don't see that. Go ahead and install Samsung USB drivers, unplug the micro USB, plug it back in, and you should be all ready to go. Um, so I'm going to close that up, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, run the QPSD program, uh, which should be now in my uh, folder somewhere here. Let me just type QPSD. There we go. Um, QP, up. Uh, QPSD configuration up here. All right and it's running on my other screen again there we go so I've got it there next what you want to do is hit the uh, ports tab here and uh, click on add new ports and unclick this show, show serial stuff and uh, you should be able to find the COM27 or whatever COM number it is go find it I see it here COM27 which matches my device manager COM number hit OK this will add uh, this is actually your AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Alright, next next what we're going to do is uh, back, up, um, back up our QCN file just in case we have to go back. Um, so go ahead and go to uh, Star Clients and let's go to Software Download. Alright, and you'll see Software Download here. Next go ahead and click on the Backup tab. Alright, and uh, hit browse and choose COM27 or whatever your phone's COM number is. All right. All right. Next, you're going to uh, find a uh, QCN file you, you want to name anywhere, uh, somewhere you can find it. I'm going to go ahead and choose, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my, um, my documents so I don't forget it. Uh, you probably never need to use it because, uh, you know, but just in case. I'll type, uh, I'm going to put ATT Note 2 like that. And this will back up uh, your current settings. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And it's backing up my MV uh, memory. And uh, in case something goes wrong, you can always restore this. All right. And uh, um, actually, once you unlock the T-Mobile bands, it's going to actually work on uh, AT&T and T-Mobile bands and the world bands. Um, so you probably never have to go back. Uh, but just in case you do something wrong, you can back it up. And you know have a backup. So I'll be back uh, when this is done. All right, next we're going to go ahead and uh, restore QCN, uh, the one that has uh, the T-Mobile bands, uh, 3G, 4G bands unlocked. So go to Restore tab and make sure it's on your phone. And then you'll need to download this file called ATTI 317awsmoddummies.qcn. Go ahead and download that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, browse to that folder, uh, which should be in my my downloads folder here and it's under ATT I 317 blah blah and there we go I found that there open alright and the last part we're just gonna uh, restore this one alright so I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and you get this warning sign uh, model number QCN file does not match it's alright um, that's why we're hacking it and uh, once this is done, your phone should be now uh, be able to pick up T-Mobile 3G HSPA plus 42 megabits per second uh, band speeds. So it just becomes just like a T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2 now uh, once this is done. And uh, once that's complete, uh, your phone should reboot. Um, so let me go to my phone real quick. All right, my phone has started rebooting. Uh, it's working fine. Now we're gonna have to test if it's actually working on um, on T-Mobile. So let me go ahead and get grab my uh, T-Mobile card. Let me go ahead and boot it up. Make sure AT&T signals are working to show you. So there we go. I've uh, rebooted, and let me go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi. And uh, I think it's still booting up there. I lost my um, my speed here. Speed test. Uh, let me see. For some reason, I lost my note. Oh no, it's it's just still loading. It's still booting. Um, so I got 4G LTE uh, working just fine and uh, looking good. Now the big test is now we're gonna go ahead and put our T-Mobile card in there, and let's see if we can pick up T-Mobile 3G and 4G speeds. Speed test is a little bit weird right now. Hold on. Go ahead and uh, do this uh, while nah, my phone's funky right now. Hold on, let me close that and try one more time. There we go. And I should be getting nice, um, nice speeds here. Okay, I think speed test is down. Let me just open up the browser. So there you go. It's working just fine. My 4G LTE. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my T-Mobile SIM card. So I've got my T-Mobile SIM card there. Um, let me go ahead. Oh, everything falling. Let me go ahead and grab my uh, AT&T card out of there. And uh, you see, it says 317 there. So now you know I'm not cheating. <laughs> this is not a fake video. None of my videos are fake. Actually, I had a couple of fake videos, but I just didn't want to be famous for making fake videos, so I stopped doing it. Uh, there we go, and uh, I'm going to reboot, and hopefully it will start picking up T-Mobile speeds on my AT&T Galaxy Note 2. It's going to be freaking awesome. Um, now, you know, if you want to grab an, an unlocked uh, AT&T version and make it run, and also my unlocked T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2 runs my AT&T SIM card just fine. So I'm just going to put it back. Well, there we go. So I reboot it. Uh, it's still booting. All right. And let me go ahead and you might have to manually do APN. It should pick it up automatically. But let me let the phone boot. And let's go to mobile networks. Give it a second. So I've got voice. Voice works without doing this. But... um. I mean, also Edge, you can get Edge just fine. So I'm getting Edge there. 
Um, all right, and I'm on T-Mobile. Uh, let me just step outside real quick because uh, sometimes what happens is um, I'm in the basement office and sometimes it does drop to edge. Let me go test it out real quick. And boom shakalaka. I've got 4G here. That's what I got in my test. I'm afraid I might go back to edge, but uh, it's working fine. Let's do a quick speed test here. Not bad at all. Um, very similar to my T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. There we go. This is awesome. And let me go ahead and show you uh, my settings here. Um, you can see T-Mobile uh, not roaming HSPA 15. Uh, boom shakalaka. So there you go. Um, now you can uh, enable 3G, 4G, T-Mobile bands on your AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Um, this can be very helpful and uh, I don't see anything. Uh, it's the exact same thing. Um, it's pretty much the exact same phone. So go ahead and, you know, enjoy your, uh, you know, AT&T Galaxy Note 2 uh, working on T-Mobile 3G, 4G bands. Let me go ahead and run uh, my speed test again for you. And this is really fun. Restart test. And uh, there you go. There you go. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, as always, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, uh, galaxynote2root.com. We update you once a week with Ronald Week, Tips, Hacks, and more stuff like this. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And uh, this is a great day. Um, my upload is a little bit slow, but it's working just fine. It's the speed test sometimes whacked. But anyway, see you all later. Stay high on Android and go enjoy your phone on T-Mobile. AT&T phone on T-Mobile. Yeah.